guys so as we have successfully created the pre-built angular app and we have tested that it was working fine in our browsers so it's time when we should understand all the configuration files which were important to create successfully such an application so and these configuration files are basically very important from the in, uh, interview uh, perspective so it's better that we understand each and every of these configuration files and their role in the development of such angular application so uh, most of the files are actually present in the uh, root directory itself for example you can see here package.json package log.json but some of the configuration files are also present in the src folder so let's go and check out these uh, configuration files one by one so today uh, the first uh, file that we are going to uh, take into the consideration is package.json file so package.json file is an important file uh, because when we run uh, npm install or npm update so where do you really think the node.js picks up the de dependencies or the packages which are required to run an application npm basically installs these packages which are which we define in uh, the package.json file in the form of dependencies and dev dependencies this package.json file that you see here contains only the starter set of packages it does not contain much more of the bundle of these packages as of now because it was just a starter application but as you go on adding more and more screens and making your uh, particular application a bit more complex you might be needing much more angular dependencies and uh, java javascript libraries to make your work easy so these dependencies and dev dependencies list may go on as a long list as of now we have only starter dependencies here so basically this package.json file contains two main uh, parts of parts that is dependencies and dev dependencies dependencies are actually essential for running your application while dev dependencies are something which is only to uh, which is necessary only to develop your angular application for example cli as you all i have already told you cli is something which is required to build your angular application uh, which actually acts as an interpreter converts your language that is typescript into browser understandable javascript so cli is basically important to develop your application so that you can develop in typescript and you can run in javascript while when you come as compared to dependencies when you see there are more of the angular packages at, at the rate angular slash these packages are actually important for running your application so let's go into deep of the uh, dependencies first dependencies actually this particular list will contain three types of packages mainly the very first type of package you will get here is a angular package so these angular packages are nothing but core and optional modules and most of the time you will find their package name starting with at the rate angular slash for example at the rate common at the rate animations these javascript libraries contains classes related to animations and all that is why you have imported into your package.json file the second type of packages you will find here is the support packages for example rxjs package so uh, this is the front end we are designing so there will be something which is called as back end too so how will our front end interact with the back end so many of the times we interact with the rest api templates and calls so uh, what will happen if uh, we don't have anything to connect with the back end so rxx is a third party library which helps your front end to connect with the apis in the back end through http connections so these are the support packages which are not required for developing your angular application but actually required to connect your angular application to the backend services i hope i'm clear about the two packages the third type is again polyfills which i will explain later on because polyfills is something which is important we need to understand i cannot cover in this particular uh, subtopic so i hope i'm clear with dependencies these dependency section contains only those libraries which are required for developing and running your application and uh, these are the even the third party modules even gets included into dependencies uh, package list the second important thing in this particular package.json file is dev dependencies and I've, as i've already uh, make you understand that these particular uh, list of packages contains 
those uh, third party libraries or angular libraries which are important for developing an application for example cli which is required to interpret your typescript into javascript and run it on the browsers uh, they have uh, many more things to it which i will explain later in the sections now main of the the difference in the both is just this that this is for uh, basically running your application this is for developing your application we don't need dev dependencies in the production but do we do we do need these dependencies packages in the production now you can even see other things in package.json files the first is name this is the name of your project uh, then the second is the version which is in the form of xxx and the third important thing here is the versions so we have explained in dependencies and dev dependencies are what are these type of packages but we haven't understand yet that what are these versioning system uh, is in this particular file so versioning usually comes in two types mainly first is this uh, symbol that is tilde and second is this caret so let me make you understand what versioning this actually angular takes into consideration so whenever you see the versioning system it is always in the form of x dot y dot z so suppose for this angular animation the x is 8 y is 2 and z is 0 so x is actually nothing but the major version y is minor version and z is a patch version so this particular tilde says install anything which is equal to 8.2.0 or the package with the higher patch version patch version is actually the z thing that is 8.2.0 0 is the patch so install anything which is 8.2.0 or higher in the same 8.2 but a higher version of 0 that is for example 8.2.1 if it is the latest one so this is all about the tilde versioning system now the caret versioning system says install anything with the same major but higher or the latest minor or the patch that means keep x as the same but you can upgrade to the latest version of y and z for example in rxjx you can see or tslib you can see x is 1 y is 10 and z is 0 so please install anything which is of the major version 1 but the minor version 10 or higher or patch version 0 or higher so this is all about the versioning systems you can see in the package.json file okay so that's all about package.json file now let's see something which is very similar to package.json configuration file that is package log.json file so when you look at package log.json file you will see a tree structure now how will you make sure that your project is built with the same package versions in different environment and in different time say for example we have seen versioning system in packet.json file that is caret system and tilt system now in in my local if i have used the caret sign with 1.2.3 as my version and when this particular project goes into like I'll, I'll tell you with an example here if you can see that rxjx is done or at tslib is done with 1.10.0 version now if this particular uh, caret is recognized by npm as uh, the latest version that is 1.11.0 but when this particular code is deployed in production npm still takes it as 1.10.0 because a caret says either this or uh, the latest version so npm can take either 1.10.0 or 1.11.0 so my local takes as 1.11.0 but my production still npm recognizes it as 1.10.0 and installs tag tslib of 1.10.0 version what will happen your code will work uh, the the bug free in the local but uh, a different in production so you might be wondering why the hell my code is working different in production and working very different in my development screen 
so this is the issue created by versioning in package.json file so that is why we have introduced a file called as package.log.json file so nothing else but package.json file does nothing but actually creates the exact version of what you have taken in the package.json file so so that the same version works at production and same version works at development uh, development uh, environment now the next question arise to me and it might be to you also is that why not to use exact uh, versioning in package.json itself like we have angular animation 8.2.0 why why don't we remove this tilde and we can use 8.2.0 and it will work but then don't you realize this that there is something called as nested dependencies like for example in this package log.json file when you go to animations uh, dependency you you require something called as requires ts lib so there is something called as de uh, dependencies which depends upon the previous dependencies so when you require angular animation there will be something also called as ts lib uh, which is also required by animations so how will you make sure that the the dependencies which are dependent on the previous dependencies that is nested dependencies have the same version in both the things because package.json does not imply anything about the nested dependencies so package.json file actually creates the tree structure for you where you have nested dependencies versioning also present so this particular file will make sure that not only your oh, the main package that is angular slash animation kind of packages have the same version but also the nested dependencies like tslib also have the same versioning system in production and development so this is how this package.log.json file makes a very important configurations when it comes to the different uh, platforms different uh, time limits and different uh, environments like production and development so that's all about the configuration file about package.json and package.log.json and I'll, I'll tell you about the other configuration files in the next videos.